In this video, we are going to see about what is time complexity and how to find it. Time complexity quantifies the amount of time taken by an algorithm to run or it measures the number of operations an algorithm performs. An algorithm can be analyzed using these three ways. First, the best case which is denoted by big omega. Next, the average case which is denoted by big theta. And worst case, it is denoted by big O. Let's see each one in detail. Now see this array. If we need one which is at the start of the array, it is called the best case. But if we need 3, which is at the middle of the array, it is called the average case. But if we need 5, which is at the end of the array, then it is called the worst case. Worst case is the maximum amount of time a program takes to run. Since comparing the maximum runtime of an algorithm is good, in most cases, we consider only the worst case. Now consider this program. In this program, we have three operations. So time taken by first operation is big O of 1. For the second one is also big O of 1. And for this sum operation is also big O of 1. So time complexity of this program is big O of 3. But even if you change the value of A and B, the time complexity of this program will remain constant. So if the time complexity of your program will always remain constant, then it can be generally termed as big O of 1. Now see this program. In this program, we have a for loop which runs from 1 to n. n is equal to 5, so this print statement will execute 5 times. So the time complexity of this program is big O of 5. But if n is equal to 10 and this print statement will execute 10 times. You can see every time we have a different time complexity. The time complexity varies due to this variable n. So the time complexity of this program is big O of n. Now we have two for loops. We know Time complexity of this part is big O of n and for this part is also big O of n. So the time complexity of this program will be big O of 2n. But whatever may be the value of n, this two for loops will always run two times. So this two will always remain constant. So we can simply ignore that and the time complexity for this program is also big O of n. Here too we have two for loops, but it is nested. Each for loop runs from 1 to n times. n is equal to 5. For i is equal to 1, this for loop runs 5 times. For i is equal to 2, it runs 5 times. For 3, it runs 5 times, for 4, 5 times, and for 5, 5 times. So this print statement will execute 25 times. But if n is equal to 10, th this print statement will run 100 times. In this program, the time complexity doesn't vary only by n, but it varies by n square. So the time complexity of this program is big O of n square. To proceed further, let us quickly see what is log. In mathematics or in our school or college days, when we simply write log, it means log to the base 10. But in computer science, when we simply write log, it means log to the base 2. Now let's see how to find log. What is the answer of log to the base 2, 16. Log just simply ask us a question. How many times do we multiply 2 to get 16? It is 4 times. 2 into 2 into 2 is 16 or 2 power 4 is equal to 16. So answer to this question is 
Oh. If you watch it closely, you can simply relate that. The base is the number here and this 4 which is the power is the result and 16 is our log number. Let's see small examples to understand log better. What is the answer of log to the base 2? 8. Just ask this question to you. How many times do you multiply 2 to get 8? 2 into 2 into 2 is 8. So we multiply 3 times to get 8 or 2 power 3 is equal to 8. Now for this one. How many times do we multiply 2 to get 1024? You know 2 power 10 is 1024. So answer here is 10. And this one is a bit tricky. 2 power 3 is 8. Which you have seen here. 2 power 16 is 4. But 12 lies in between. So answer of this will be 3.5. Now a question for you. What is the answer of this? Log to the base 3, 27. Good luck if you have found. We know 3 power 3 is 27. So answer here is 3. Now consider you have written a program. And in that program, you divide the array into half until you get a single element. Now just remember this equation. Now you apply that same program to this input array. First you will divide into half, then divide again and divide until you get a single element. Now remember this equation. When array length was 4, we did two operations. When array length was 8, we did three operations. So log to the base 2 4 was 2 and log to the base 2 8 was 3. So in earlier programs the time complexity varied by n and in another one time complexity varied by n square. But in this program the time complexity varied by log n. We saw a program which divides the array into half until we get a single element. Time complexity of that program was log n. But what if, if we have to do that for every single element? That is, if the length of the array is n and we have to do that operation to get every single element in the array. Then the time complexity of that program is we go off n log n. So we have come to an end of this video. If you feel this video was helpful to you, please share it with your coding community. Subscribing to our channel and liking to our videos will motivate us to create more videos. Thank you.